Welcome back to Welltech Talks. I'm Scott Montgomery, Welltech CEO, and today I'm thrilled to announce and introduce our first remote speaker, Dr. Jyoti Samra. Dr. Jyoti, based in Canada, is one of the country's most prolific thought leaders around mental health. She's a founder of My Workplace Health and also a member of Welltech's Global Expert Panel. Today, Dr. Jody's going to be talking around what is a psychologist and why might it be helpful for me. So, Dr. Jyoti, over to you. Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to answer a question that I receive all the time. What is a psychologist? In this video, I'm going to discuss what a psychologist is and how we differ from psychiatrists. And at the end of the video, I'll share three reasons why you want to think about integrating regular therapy into your life. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. So what is a psychologist? We are specialists in human behavior. Psychologists have a doctorate in psychology, and there are two main different types of psychologists. Experimental psychologists, who typically do teaching or research work, or counseling and clinical psychologists, who specialize in the assessment and treatment of mental health conditions and disorders. Psychologists are different from psychiatrists in that we have our PhD and we do not prescribe medication, whereas psychiatrists have an MD and specialize in psychiatry. Psychiatrists typically work with more serious mental illness and place a strong emphasis on treatment by medication, whereas psychologists deliver therapy through evidence-based talk therapies. I'm a clinical psychologist, and there are a few unique skills that clinical psychologists have. First, we have a broad-based understanding of human behavior. We have expertise in assessment, not only of mental health conditions, but of personality, cognitive status, and learning styles. And finally, our training has a heavy emphasis on research, so we are well positioned to review the evidence base of treatments and interventions that exist for mood-related conditions. So what are three reasons why you should think about having regular therapy sessions? First, therapy works. There's an amazingly strong evidence base for a wide range of therapies for a wide range of presenting concerns. Mood conditions, anxiety-related conditions, stressors including work stress and relationship conflict, addiction including substance use and eating-related conditions, as well as chronic pain and other physical health conditions. Secondly, having objective eyes can really help. When we are going through our own difficulties and challenges, we often lose sight of the forest for the trees and having objective expert opinion and guidance during times when we are struggling or challenged can be very helpful. Third, unfortunately, many of us aren't wanting or willing to talk openly about all aspects of our life to those that are in our life. Or we may not feel that we have anyone in our life that we can unconditionally trust. For these reasons, seeing a trained professional can really help us gain perspective and insight. In closing, there are a number of benefits of seeing a psychologist. One of the most important factors in therapy is the therapeutic relationship. And so take your time in finding someone who seems like a good fit for you. Ask others for advice or referrals, do your research online, and set up an initial consultation to see if there is a fit. If you've been thinking about seeing someone, I really encourage you to take that first step starting today. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear from you. Do you find therapy helpful? Tell us why in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.